Amenwa Lagos State Governor Babajide Songwulu has reiterated calls for idea sharing and mutual respect between the legislative and executive arm of government as the most assured way to succeed. Governor Songwulu stated these are the 18th edition of the executive and legislative pali themed engaging all for inclusive governance, hands on for a greater Lagos rising. The governor promised to maintain a harmonious relationship with the State Assembly, noting that it was imperative to work together. For us to be able to further Georgia, for us to be able to explain some of the small things that we're doing, but at the end of the day, live here better and rich, you know, with the understanding that you are part of this government, you understand what we need to do, you are giving us sufficient advice, criticism, and the rest of it, so that we can go back and do the work that Lagosians are expected of us, both at the legislative in Lagos, both at the legislative in Abuja, and more importantly at the executive here in Lagos. So that at the end of the day, we'll have every reason, like the former governor said, that that poor man on the street, government will work for them. That the real essence of the dividend of democracy, it fills it without necessarily needing to come to Alausa. In his lead presentation, the former governor of Lagos State, Babatunde Fashola, advised the government to reduce levies and taxes as a way of easing the current social economic challenges on the residents. Fashola, however, applauded Governor Sonwolu for rolling out other measures to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal. Uh, devolve only on one level of government, like the state government. Local governments should also be involved in, in this. We have councillors at local government, we have uh, representatives there also. This is a time when everybody must help uh, the governor uh, ensure that they reach out, put, a shoulder, put an arm around the shoulders of vulnerable people in whatever little way they possibly can help their businesses. Uh, we have community development associations who can play Everybody is a leader at some level or the other. So you can't. The majority leader, Nohim Adams, who spoke on behalf of the Speaker, Mudashiro Obasa, said the focus of the State Assembly was to legislate to engender development in the state. It does not even involve the Lagos State Assembly alone. The National Assembly, too, we are here. That is the, the, senators, the senators we have and the members of. As of rest, they are here. We may have matters of importance to the state. It is them that will help us on, the, on their plenary to bring the matter to the floor of as of reps, get whatever the state wants for them, lobby with other executive members, and make sure that Lagos State is well positioned in whatever area, whatever ramification, and whatever they think. And what, whatever they think and the government thinks, they can move the state forward. What this brings about is to feed the people, the stakeholders on the activities of government, and to ensure that we follow up with our campaign uh, promises to better the lot of Lagos State uh, residents and indigenous. I think that um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a forum that gives all of us opportunities. So the one when they ask us questions, we'll be able to answer and we'll be able to feed the entire Nigeria of our cities of labor states. Nigeria is to show the patient, the patient we don't. I appeal for them to be patient. I know uh, it's difficult, but please just be patient. We will soon begin to see signs of the problem. The fact is that we, we have floated the Naira now. So every time you have the Naira in your hand, you know what it worth. You know what the uh, Naira is worth. You know it's now a currency you can rely on anywhere you go. Earlier in his speech, Governor Sonwolu commended the Speaker of the Lagos Assembly, Mudashiro Obasa, and the entire lawmakers for their commitment and passion towards ensuring a better Lagos.